What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be working with the Twitch API in Golang and I'm gonna run it with Docker and Kubernetes. And just wanted to say thank you to all the subscribers. Recently got the silver play button from YouTube for 100K subscribers. So thank you to everybody. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so. It's free and it helps out the channel. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get to the programming. And to get started with this, we're gonna need to go into the Twitch developer portal and grab a client ID and a client secret after creating a new app. Let's do that. All right, so to get the Twitch credentials, go over to dev.twitch.tv and select applications. After you do that, you're gonna to wanna to select register your application. Then just give it a unique name. So Majestic Coding YouTube Demo number one. Then we can select or update the redirect to local host. Make sure you put the HTTP before it, analytics tool, and then create as confidential. You'll notice we have a new application here, which we can go to manage. And if we go to manage, we can grab the client ID. Once you have that copied, go over to your VS code in the .env and paste that as your Twitch client ID. Next, you'll wanna create the secret. I'm not gonna expose it here, but you would create that, copy it, and then paste it right here. So that's as easy as it gets for getting the credentials from the Twitch API and putting into your Golang code. All right, now that we have our .env set with the credentials that we got from Twitch, we can now focus on the Golang code. So here's the high level of how this is gonna look. The first is a go.sum and a go.mod are in the project and you'll notice those. You can simply run a go mod tidy and what this is gonna do is install all the dependencies that I had and packages that I had into your project. This is assuming that you clone the code in the GitHub repo in the description down below. Second is the template.html. What this is doing is a UI for us to show the data from Twitch. And for the third thing, we're gonna create a route in the main.go in order to serve this HTML file along with getting the data from Twitch. Let's check it out. So to walk through the Go code, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go mod tidy. This is gonna make sure you have all the packages you need from these files here of the go mod and the go sum. For me, I already have them so it won't take much time and we're good to go on the packages. Second is the template.html. Basic HTML elements and styles in a page, but I don't really wanna show the HTML code cause it's not as fun. So let's go over to what this looks like. What we're gonna grab is the ID, login, display name, and description from the Twitch API, along with my offline photo. I also have a couple things here, like I have my YouTube and my Twitch channels linked. Those are just basic CSS styles, but Basic HTML, there's really not much to write home about other than you can grab elements from the route of Go with this. So let's take a look at the actual main.go really quick, just to get a sense of what's happening. So if we start going through this code, we'll notice that there is a main function called handler. What this does is it gets the client ID, the client secret, and the username. So that's the username of my channel. It's gonna set up the authentication with an access token. It's gonna to get my user data, and then it's gonna return that, and then it's gonna return it to a template. And so that template is gonna be used in the main. So let's go down to the main function. And so we'll see the handler here, which is what the template was in. And we're gonna be displaying that template at the route in order to show our HTML page. So let me show you how this works when you actually run the Go file. All right, so let's run with go, with go run main dot go. And it'll take a second. And what go does is it actually builds an executable and then just runs the executable for you. So we'll allow access. I always do this in my code so that I can basically link to it really quickly. And if we go over, you'll notice that voila, we have our web page up and running with go. All right, now that we have the Golang code up and running with our application, let's try to deploy it to Kubernetes. And I love this visual of Kubernetes here just because this is pretty much how it goes. You poke around with it until you find something that works. So let me show you what worked for me. All right, now that we have all the Go code set, let's go down to run with Kubernetes and the README. 
So you'll notice the first thing we're gonna wanna do is create a config map for our .env. So I'm just gonna paste that into terminal and run. And then you'll see we've created a config map for our .env. And if you remember, that's where we put the credentials for our Twitch API. Now we'll apply the k8sgo.yaml file that I have, which is just a basic Kubernetes setup in a YAML file. You'll see that it's set up a deployment in the service. It's unchanged because I've already had it. And then we can expose the application at port 8080. And it's already running for me. So all I have to do is go over to a web browser and check on this to make sure that it's running. All right, so I just wanted to go over to port 8080 on localhost just to make sure this is running. And as you can see, we're getting our data from the Twitch API along with the offline photo and all the CSS is loaded. So we've successfully deployed this and we have it running with Kubernetes. Well, I don't know if I'm as excited as Joe Rogan is, but we have successfully deployed and run on Go and Kubernetes. So I think we're good to go. And thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Let's get the number up a little bit more. And go over to my Twitch at Majestic Coding Twitch if you want to check out live streams and live coding. Thanks, and I'll see ya.